What's going on guys? So, if I was asking you this one question, what is the one lift 98% of guys or 99% of guys want to increase? You know what their answer would be? The bench press. And, you know, how to increase your bench press is one of the most sought after videos on the internet besides how to get six pack abs and how to build big arms. One of the most sought after subjects in fitness YouTube. Well guys, well, I've seen a lot of different kinds of videos out there and they don't need to be as long as they do. So in this video, I want to make this the last video you need to watch on how to increase your bench press because it is relatively simple and I'm going to make it simple. So guys, that sounds good. Give me one of these. Make sure you do turn the notification bell on and subscribe to my channel for more content coming soon. And let's get into it. What's going on guys? If you are brand new to my channel, my name is Eric of The Same Lifestyle. And I make videos like this dedicated to helping guys like you become the best men that you can be through fitness and self-improvement. And I drop videos like this every single Wednesday and Saturday. Now, when it comes to how to increase your bench press, I see a lot of different videos out there. From like the typical bro videos where it's all about like, ooh, watch how much I can bench. Nothing bad about Simeon Panda, but he could have made that video so much shorter. And then there are also videos of guys on the internet who clearly don't know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to the bench press. Obviously they didn't do their research or they just don't have the experience yet. They don't know what the hell they're talking about because I've watched some of these. I'm going, which, like, who are you? Well guys, like I said, I want to make this the last video you want to watch or need to watch on how to increase your bench press, on how to increase your bench press because it is relatively simple. All you need to know is some form cues and accessory exercises in order to increase it. So if that sounds good, let's get into it. So when it comes to the form for the bench press, it's relatively simple. First of all, you want to start by bringing your shoulder blades retracting and depressing. So back and down. If it is more helpful, think about bringing your chest up to the ceiling. Next, you want to arch your back. And I do this generally by lifting my butt off the bench and pushing my shoulders all the way to the starting position, then letting my butt go down. I know you were told to never arch your back during any exercise, but for the bench press, it is needed for additional leverage, but also to set your shoulders in a proper position. Next, you're gonna wanna set your feet properly on the ground, set them nice and firm. And that way you're actually going to have some more power to press into the ground, which is going to create more force, push the barbell up. Next, you wanna firmly grip the bar in deep into your palm. Now you don't wanna grip it in the middle because what that's gonna do is actually gonna have your wrist go like this, have like an L shape, which means you're gonna take an L on the bench press. You're gonna lose about you're gonna lose about 80 to 90 percent of your power this way. So you want to keep that wrist straight like this by having the barbell nice and deep in your palm. The next part is you want to keep the core nice and tight. That way, the only thing moving in your body is going to be your arms. And you're nice and stable on the bench press and no wobbling around, which is gonna detract a lot from the weight that you're able to lift. So let's go over the form cues really quick. One. Retract and depress your scapula or bring your chest to the ceiling. Arch your back, set your feet nice and firm, grip the barbell, and keep your core tight. Those, that's going to be the basic form you need in order to perform a good bench press. But then also between like finding your grip with, which I'll go over in a different video. Next, let's go over some accessory exercises that you can use right now to increase your bench press. But first, get start off with the back exercise because the back is needed to create that stable base from which to press from. The best one you're going to do is a chin up or a lat pull down. I know you can do these body weight or weighted if you want, but on my pressing days, I prefer to do this one. So having that strong back is really going to help you with those pressing movements, which is which why we do a chin up slash lat pull down. Now, the next one we're going to do is a deficit push up. And just what the deficit deadlift is to deadlift, which is where you increase the range of motion if you're having a hard time activating your hamstrings at the bottom. That's what you're going to do for this one. We're going to increase the range of motion that your chest goes through. Normally with the barbell, it's going to stop right at your chest. It can't exactly go any further. But with the deficit push-up, since you're going to be up on anything you want, like plates, yoga blocks, or kettlebells like I have, you're going to have your chest go through a much longer range of motion. So you can go far past your chest and then press up. What that's going to accomplish is you're going to make your chest go through a much longer range of motion and get stronger in that range of motion. So that the next time the bar stops right in your chest, you can actually press it up. You're going to be stronger with a shorter range of motion. So what deficit deadlift does for the deadlift, the deficit pushup is going to do for your bench press. The next one we're going to do, since the last half of the bench press is going to be all shoulders and triceps is, we're going to focus on that area. 
So the next one we're going to do is a shoulder press. And what this is going to accomplish is it's going to make our shoulders nice and strong. And you can either do this with a dumbbell or with a barbell. Either one will accomplish the job just that well. And by doing these exercises, you're going to make your shoulders a lot stronger, which is going to help in that last half of the bench press. Now for our last movement, we're going to do a floor press since most guys, they feel the lift at the last little half of that bench. And that's where the triceps are the most active. And when you ask guys, where most guys begin to feel their bench press, it's a little bit in the chest, but they're gonna really feel that burn in the tricep. At least that's what happened to me when I first started benching because my triceps were not strong enough. So if you do wanna be able to complete that last little half of the bench press, you gotta work on your tricep strength. So what the floor press is going to accomplish is, it's going to stop your humerus right there on the floor at 90 degrees, right where the triceps begin to kick in. So all you can do is you're just going to press up from there. And that's really going to help build up your pressing strength with your triceps. It's going to help the triceps become a lot stronger in that range of motion. So if you know you happen to fail in that range of motion or at the last half of the bench press, definitely give this floor press a try. I guarantee you, you're gonna really increase your bench press. So for the accessory movements, you wanna do a, a chin up, deficit push up, shoulder movement, and then the floor press. Those are going to encompass all areas of the bench press and really help you add more weight onto that bench. Now guys, I'm hoping this is the last video you ever have to watch on increasing your bench press because in reality, increasing your bench press really isn't that hard. You just gotta get the form down and the right muscles strong. And then you also gotta practice it enough and give it enough time for you to really build up that bench press because practice does make perfect. And guys, that's it for the video today. So if you did like it, give me one of these again. Make sure you do subscribe for more content coming soon if you have any questions or any topics you want me to cover in the future. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions. All you need to do is go join my Facebook group and post them there. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Saiyans, let's get it. Is to go even further beyond! Ah!